Good morning, everybody. Morning of day 28 on the Appalachian Trail. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're all having a good morning. I'm having a great morning. Got a good early start. And there's my view for this morning. A little mountain range. A little downhill trail. Calves are a little tight, but that's because I pushed it 18-1 yesterday. But all in all, good morning. Why is it a good morning? Because we're heading into Uncle Johnny's for a Nero. So that makes five days on trail. So we did a five day stretch. I think it computes out to 70 miles from Hot Springs to Irwin, Tennessee to Uncle Johnny's. We're gonna take a Nero today. Uh, see how the body feels, see how quick I can, quickly I can get resupplied to get back out on trail. Supposed to be a chance of rain today. Hopefully we can beat it in there and uh, Rest up, get laundry done, get you some videos uploaded so you can keep watching, and we'll go from there. But first things first, let's see the trail this morning. Hope everybody's having a great day. Spirits are high. It's been a quiet morning, still early, and here is the last shelter of the trail before Irwin. Let's take a look, no one's home. If anybody stayed here last night, they've already pushed on. It's just now nine o'clock. This is 5.7 Nullichucky River. This is, oh, 5.7 to the Nolichucky. Sorry, this is the No Business Shelter, that's right. That's the name of it. The No Business Shelter, right there. Actually, it's a pretty nice one with the wall. A little half wall. Solid decking. Got the graffiti board so it's not all over the bricks. All right. Take a short pit stop, have a snack, and we'll push on. There has been a whole lot of views this morning so far. It is overcast. Like I said, it's supposed to rain, but nothing yet. And we're still moving along. Still no major sights to see. But what you can't see is this is pretty much why they call it the green tunnel, because it's all a lot of a lot of sections are overgrown with the uh, rhododendron. So it makes it look a, like a green tunnel. But I figured I'd bring you back, show you a little more of this morning's trail. There's not a whole lot of footage today, so there just hasn't been any good views. We're just pushing into Irwin. All our good views were yesterday. Here we are working our way down and we're getting our first glimpses of the Nullichucky River right there. I see it through the trees, I can see some rapids. And it looks like there's a camp or something across there with tubing. And if I step back, actually we'll go this way right here. Pop over this corner and you can see Irwin. And the highway, Let's see if we can get it through the trees here. There's Irwin out there. We'll see if we get a better view here in a minute, but we're close. There we go, now we're talking. There's the Nullichucky River right down there. That's the bridge we walk across for the trail. 
And there is Irwin, Tennessee, all the way through. Now we pan back over here and go upriver and just through the trees there is the river. But that's where we're heading, right down there to the left of that bridge. All right, let's get a move on. We did it, we made it. Here is the trailhead. Oh, let's do these steps right here. Oh, across the street and get behind the guardrail, be official. What's that say? Street rails, coffee house, hikers welcome. Union Street, hikers welcome. Union Street, tap room. I may check that out. Look at the Nellachucky River. And right here at the bottom of the hill is Uncle Johnny's. That's right, we made it. We did it, 70 miles, four and a half days. Let's confirm real quick. It is, yep. Let's confirm, it is noon, 8.8 .8 miles. Started at 8 o'clock this morning. And we are in Irwin, Tennessee. Wow, mind blowing. Big time. And, uh, whoop, sorry about that. Let me step over here. Props, brother. Here's Uncle Johnny's, finally. 70 miles later. We have something reserved, so let's go figure it out. That's right. Soda machine, all right, we'll film stuff later. All right, so there's not a whole lot uh, going on on a zero day. So I just wanted to show you what uh, Uncle Johnny's is. So when you come around the corner here from the front office in the bunk room where I was at last night, you've got uh, your restrooms and showers in here for men and women over here. And this is pretty much like the backyard. So you got fire pits and tables, chairs, all the grass. If you want to pitch your tent, you can pitch your tent here. They got a pair of cabins over here, private cabins. And all of these cabins are different setups, whether they sleep one, one bed, two bed, or four beds. You know, you and, some, you and your buddies can share one, split the cost. Picnic table here, and you come around out back. Another cabin up there. And over here, they've got the lean-to, I guess you'd call it. And those are where you can put your tents in there on the gravel. They're all numbered hammock or tent if you wanted to put put your tent up under cover just to have a place to sleep but stay dry so they got six spots there this is a c cabin i'm over here in the d cabin for tonight i got one one night private room on my zero day today 
And then around the back side here, the bathrooms is a little sink and kitchen area. And then on the other side, that little half wall right there is the uh, laundry, which is just one washer, one dryer. $5 a load, get in line by putting your stuff out for whenever. And it's literally, the road is over there and we came down the trail from up there. And there's a back road here for a residence. So it's right here on the edge of the edge of the river. Actually, let me, let me zip over here real quick. Told you we are on the edge of the Nolichucky River. There it is right there. That's the Nolichucky. Well, let me give you a quick tour of the D cabin that I got for the night. So boom, for you walk in. You actually get a television, a mini fridge. There's a microwave behind that, obviously. Got all my stuff laid out. A little dresser and a chair. Space heater if you needed it. And window AC unit. And just a big old bed. It's a full size or whatever you want to call it. And that's it. It was like 50 bucks for the night. So. Just a place to lay all your stuff out, get organized. That's about all. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the book and get this end of the day wrap up done from yesterday's mileage so we can close this video out and get this posted for you guys. All right, let's get the book out. Okay, so everyone knows we stayed at 335.4. That was a stealth campsite. That gave us yesterday for the or the day before for the 18 one so we pushed on from there and it was pretty much downhill there was one climb right there going up into the no business knob shelter where we stopped had our morning snack and uh, after that climb we flipped the page boom we had our downhill into Temple Hill Gap, and then we did, that was our last climb out of there, where we started getting our views of Irwin. And then from there, we just descended all the way down, right there to River Road, Indian Spring Road, Irwin, Tennessee. And that road is right here in front of the hostel at Uncle Johnny's. We ended the day with a, right there at 344.2, gave us an 8.8 .8 mile day, come on. That 8.8 .8 mile day for night 28 and 29 for our zero. I'm not sure what kind of miles I'm going to do tomorrow um, or for the next few days, but I think I'm going to back them off to about 14s. Um, I did pull something in my right uh, calf and Achilles, so it's been tender. I've been off my foot all day, most of the day, other than doing laundry and last minute grocery shopping. So, elevated the feet, took some ibuprofen, and uh, I'm going to shorten up the miles just a little bit. I don't need to be doing 16, 18s. So I'll do 14s and right in that range so that little bit does make a difference but once again i just want to thank everyone for following along and tuning in i appreciate every one of you and uh we'll see you guys in the morning like we always do have a good night everybody we're pushing north bye-bye